the ancient city of Hebron, where Jewish roots, history, and existence are threatened by lies and defamation. Here is an example. That's right, If Not Now released a film this week featuring Isa Amru. He's a local provocateur and a master of anti-Israel demonization, and he stood right here. If Not Now is partnering with me and others to offer a digital alternative. You know what's weird? Isa Amru is an Arab, and he's standing here in the Jewish section of town, and he's talking about our apartheid against him. Segregated streets. This might surprise you, but Jews are only 3% of Hebron, and we're not allowed in 97% of the Arab section of town. Apartheid? In the last few years, Hebron has become the ground zero of the anti-Israel narrative. So-called human rights organizations bring tours to Hebron, but they show them a very thin slice of life here. Their goal is to demonize Israel and portray it as an apartheid state, make Israel ugly in the eyes of the world. But let me show you around. Okay, so this is the real Hebron. 97% of the city is controlled by the Palestinian Authority, and as I mentioned, no Jews are allowed in here. Arab Hebron is the richest of the Arab cities in Judea and Samaria, the so-called West Bank. 40% of the PA's economy is produced in this city alone. There are 17,000 stores and factories which export 5 billion shekels worth of products a year. There are four hospitals, three universities, and an indoor basketball stadium that seats 4,000. Now this great dome that you are seeing is not a mosque. It's one of the biggest malls in the Middle East. It's a nine-story indoor mall where you can find Kentucky Fried Chicken and Domino's Pizza and all the accoutrements of a modern, sophisticated commercial area. If the Jews of Hebron want to eat something, we got a pizza place. That's the only thing we got. Let's go in. Hi, Adele. How are you? Mmm. Brooklyn-style pizza here in Hebron. So yeah, there is a giant story here in Hebron. It's the story of the Jewish people being reborn here. 3,800 years ago, our forefathers and mothers were buried here. 3,000 years ago, King David was king here in Hebron. And we've had Jewish continuity throughout all those centuries, and we are reborn now here. So if there is one thing that I do agree with, if not now, and Isa Amru is, come visit Hebron. Thank you, Ishai. Yes, you too are welcome to visit us here and see the truth for yourselves, or follow us online and let us show it to you. I was attacked by the Israeli settlers many times here.